the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, said the private sector in an, is an essential partner in promoting the sports sector. His Highness underscored the importance of developing sports and facilities and ushering in a new phase with the partnership in the private sector, which would benefit the sports sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Khaled was speaking as he received the representatives of the private sector companies and establishments to update them on plans to launch the nominal sponsorship of sports facilities and continue the neighborhood stadiums. His Highness Sheikh Khaled stressed GSA's plans to develop sports facilities through the sponsorship projects with the private sector and continue developing the neighborhood stadiums. The Minister of Works Engineer Ibrahim bin Hassan al-Hawaj stressed the importance of partnership with the private sector in developing infrastructure and upgrading public services. This came during his meeting with the Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Businessmen Association in the presence of a number of members of the Board of Directors. The Chairman and members of the Board of Directors of the Association praised the role of the Minister of Works stressing the Association's keenness to cooperate with the Ministry by supporting the Ministry's programs and future projects. During the meeting, they reviewed the infrastructure projects undertaken by the Ministry of Works to keep pace with the urban and investment development taking place in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which contribute to advancing the national economy and the promotion of various commercial and economic activities. Within the framework of the official visit to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the Minister of Social Development, Osama bin Ahmed Khalaf al Asfur, and his accompanying delegation reviewed the project of the National Center for the Development of the Nonprofit Sector. The Saudi side reviewed the main objectives of the National Center for the Development of the Nonprofit Sector and the decision to establish to support the community development and organizing the work of civil organizations in the development fields, in addition to its role in integrating government efforts by providing licensing services for their organizations, as well as the financial, administrative, and technical supervision of the sector, in addition to strengthening the coordination and support between the various authorities. 
The center prepares strategies, plans, programs, and performance indicators, in addition to taking the necessary measures to regulate the non-profit sector in terms of regulations and standards. The delegation was also briefed on the sector's growth indicators over the last years and the advanced results it has achieved in the areas of donation and volunteering. These include the governance of all the organizations for donations, spreading the culture of volunteering and awareness of the importance of the sector, as well as activating investment with a social impact, providing advisory and training services, and supervising the financial support provided to civil organizations. The Kingdom of Bahrain will join the world tomorrow in celebrating the International Youth Day which falls on the 12th of August of each year amid pioneering Bahraini achievements and initiatives to empower youth at all levels. Thanks to the continuous support given by His Majesty the King to Youth Affairs in appreciation of their sincere efforts and honorable achievements for the advancement and progress of Bahrain. The youth people enjoy direct care and attention from His Majesty the King for everything related to their affairs. The King Hamad Award for Youth Empowerment to Achieve Sustainable Development Goals embodies His Majesty's belief in the importance of the leading role of the world's youth in consolidating the foundations of development and progress towards building a prosperous future for their countries and in the implementation of the Kingdom's directives in providing a suitable environment for young people. The government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister is keen to nurture them through developing their skills and include pri youth priorities in government work programs and government positions to invest their energies to further develop government work. In appreciation for the contributions and creativity of the youth of the Kingdom, Bahraini Youth Day is celebrated on the 25th of March every year. The name Bahraini Youth Street has also been launched on the educational area road in appreciation of their tireless work in developing their skills in order to build a prosperous future for their homeland. The Bahraini approach to investing and empowering youth has resulted in launching many pioneering initiatives which constituted a major breakthrough towards supporting youth projects and initiatives including the Fund of Hope which was launched by Royal Decree in 2020. In addition to holding events aimed at empowering Bahraini youth and upgrading them at all levels, including the recently launched Youth City 2030 event. The Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, has also paid attention to youth issues at a global level, and in this context comes the launch of the Nasser bin Hamad International Award for Youth Creativity to support the youth projects and discover youth creators from Bahrain and abroad. A number of qualitative initiatives were also launched under the auspices of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa to stimulate and encourage creativity and innovation among the youth of the globe. The Kingdom of Bahrain, as it prepares with the world in celebrating the International Youth Day under the slogan Youth Green Skills Towards a Sustainable World, has been able to provide the world with a pioneering model in empowering youth and enhancing their participation in the sustainable development process through its continuous efforts to develop its human wealth and build capable young generations. Youth City 2030 continues its activities and training programs that are professionally designed to meet the needs of young and emerging participants, develop their skills and abilities, provide them with the necessary expertise and enable them to achieve excellence. Among these courses and programs, a series of training workshops organized by the General Department of Energy Efficiency at the Ministry of Electricity and Water Affairs under the title Installing Solar Energy Systems to raise the awareness of the importance and benefits of energy efficiency and to adopt more efficient behaviors in the use of energy. In turn, the Bahrain Institute of Banking and Finance offered five specialized programs to empower the youth in various aspects of personal and professional development, including innovation, artificial intelligence, cyber security, leadership, and project management. The president of the University of Bahrain, Dr. Fuad Mohammed Al Ansari, affirmed that the university continues to accommodate and enroll students who apply for enrollment, announcing the approval of the list of accepted students on the waiting list for the next academic year, 2023-2024. The president of the University of Bahrain stressed that the admission process is based on the principle of competitiveness by referring to the cumulative averages in the secondary school and the conditions for admission to colleges. This is according to the available vacancies and the capacity of the programs, stressing that all the students have the same opportunity to obtain their desired major 
according to their high school grades. The president of the university called on the recently admitted students to adhere to the deadline set for confirmation of admission until tomorrow, Saturday, the 12th of August, and to take advantage of the available vacancies provided by the university. The Labor Market Regulatory Authority confirmed the continuation of its coordination with various government agencies to address illegal practices in the labor market. The LMRA also noted the implementation of joint inspection campaigns with various government entities in the capital and northern governorates. The inspection campaigns included visiting a number of shops and work sites to determine the extent of compliance with the regulations and laws, especially the LMRA law and the residency law in Bahrain, where a number of illegal violations were recorded. The first campaign was conducted in the Northern Governorate and was attended by the Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs, while the second campaign was conducted in the Capital Governorate and was as attended by the Sentence Enforcement Department. The LMRA renewed its call on all members of society to provide their efforts and support government agencies to address the illegal practices in the labor market and the informal employment to protect society as a whole, calling on everyone to report any complaints related to labor market violations and irregular employment. The Omani Bahraini Friendship Association organized a celebration in Masbat on the occasion of the International Youth Day 2023, which falls tomorrow on the 12th of August. The celebration included presenting success stories of the achievements of a number of young people in the fields of entrepreneurship and the arts in addition to holding lectures and workshops. The celebration comes within the annual plan of the Omani Bahraini Friendship Association to hold events in various fields as the association will participate this month in the Salala Autumn activities by holding the activities of the Omani Bahraini Second Bazaar with the participation of a number of owners of small and medium enterprises and entrepreneurs from the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Sultanate of Oman.